ever have one of those days where you know you don't want to look into something, but you have to do so because that's what you've been doing? Ugh. I'm just going to give a head up. As you can tell, we're going to be looking at today's episode, Applejack's Day Off. And let me tell you something, folks. This was probably the one episode out of not only of season six, but honestly of the entire series so far that I've wanted to review the least. Oh, and speaking of series, as of this past Saturday, Friendship is Magic just finished up season nine, and the show is off the air. Here, unfortunately. Uh, like I said, though, I haven't seen episodes 17 and onward, so I don't know how to feel just yet, but, yeah, as from this day forward, fr it, Friendship is Magic is no more. Well, at least on TV, because the fandom is obviously still alive and kicking, and yours truly will still be revealing these episodes because he's only only up to season six. All right, all right. Let's just get this over with. Applejack, stay off. Let's get this done. All right. This thing can load. So this episode starts off in the Ponyville Swa, where basically App Rarity is waiting for Applejack because apparently Applejack likes spas now. When did this happen? Ryder never explained. And time rolls by, and we see Rarity. And as as another reviewer has said, this is why you don't overcook marshmallows in the microwave. But, yeah, basically being in the sauna for God knows how long makes your face all, like, wrinkly and clean. Like, you know how, like, whenever you have, like, your hands or feet in water and, like, your fingers get all, like, pruny? It's that kind of feeling, except it's your whole face. Alright, so, how does one describe this episode? Basically, on the way to Sweet Apple Acres, basically, Rarity talks to Twilight, basically saying, Applejack's been way too busy, I want to spend time with her, and she needs a day off. Gee, I wonder why it's Spike. Yeah, I guess one of the things I can give this episode is that it basically kind of shows how far Rarity and Applejack's relationship has come since Look Before You Sleep and has drastically improved since then. Sadly, it doesn't count for much. So as you can see, Applejack is busy with pies. So they arrive, and here's a big surprise. As Applejack comes, I'm um, just. Stay up, ready? Rarity, why don't you go on ahead and I'll meet you there? Oh, please, Applejack. Let's not kid ourselves. Well, it ain't because I don't want us, but the work on the farm has just been taking up more and more of my time. And he. Which kind of raises a question. Where exactly is Big Mac, Granny Smith, and Apple Bloom in all this? I'm sure she's even ask Big Mac to put this work aside and actually, you know, do the work for her. So, yeah, that's basically a plot hole that the episode doesn't address. Seeing you two not spending time together, can't you get somebody else in your family to take over for a bit? Wish I could. With Granny, Big Mac, and Apple Bloom, all have chores of their own. Uh, well, you, they can take on double shift. You can ask them to do that. And today they're all busy taking the harvest to market. I know we're not farmers, but I'm sure Spike and I could handle things for a little while. 
Maybe. One of your closest friends is an alicorn that has basically saved Aid Equestria God knows how many times and you don't trust her with simple farm tasks. So that's basically kind of the gist of the episode. And Apple Jack leaves Twilight a giant list of what to do with the pay. There's a list involved. I am 100% on top of it. Ugh. Right. Well, I'll have to get back to you with the That list definitely seems long for simply seeing the pigs. I mean, they are animals and they're unpredictable, but come on. There's no way there's multiple steps to simply feeding the pigs. Like, I may not be a farmer myself, but even I know it doesn't take, like, more than ten steps to feed them. Yeah. As far as I can tell, you basically find some grub, you give it to them, over, and that's it. Really? And honestly, you can see where this is going. So basically, after showing that, well, since they arrive at the spa, and well, nice callback to seeing Rainbow Dash there. Well, I'll give this episode this as a nice callback to Season 2, though I honestly think Rainbow Dash should be a little bit more open about it, because... Yeah, I, uh, I think I tweaked something in Wonderful Tracks the other day. I just came in for a deep tissue sports massage. Oh, Miss Dash, I'm just so sorry about the outstanding chapter plan behind, and you're not quite ready to start your favorite muscle massage and indulge in hoopy tube just yet. I have no idea what any of that means. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that wasn't what I signed up for. But the usual usual is going to be busy today anyway. I'll just come back tomorrow. Uh, see you later. Have fun. But put me down for the same thing. So basically the staff knows that she's lying. Alright, so basically they go to the steam room to find out there's a gigantic line for it and that it's broken, basically. And you know where this is going to lead to. Basically, they tell them that the steam room is out, but uh, basically Applejack, not taking the day off, decides to fix the work herself. A steam room just a room, and I bought plenty of those at home. Then why are you here? Yeah, Diamond Tiara's mother is back. Because she got a lot of positive reception since the last time we saw her. Also, if you have four of the steamers at home, then why are you here? Because I I'm surprised that nobody decided to kick her out for saying that. Also, is Rainbow Dash as like two ponies away? I thought she left. Oh, I thought it was going to be more like a mob where everybody was going to be fighting more worn towels. Because trust me, that's going to be a lot more interesting than what we got. I just like how the one spot pony is like... I hate my life. So, if you're not getting enough steam, that must mean there's not enough hot water. So what's happening? Oh, how about a start with the hot water? We're going to run out of time. And 
as you can tell, basically Applejack follows the trail to figure out what's wrong with the steamer and... So you're saying that that guy's been doing it? You are all wanting towel? Looks to me like you don't have any left. <laughs> well, like I said, warm towels are a big hit. Okay, okay, if I haven't made it, made it apparent from this episode, I'm just going to say it right now. It is so boring. Alright. This is probably one of the most boring fucking episodes I ever had to sit through. Because it's pretty much the equivalent of sitting in class and telling us, like, the temperature, what happens, happens when you're in the spot when you don't... But I'm just like, at this point, nobody cares. Even, like... Even kindergartners wouldn't find this interesting at all. It's just boring, dull, repetitive, and it pretty much gives you exactly what we want. Basically, is it's supposed to be Applejack's day off, but she works too damn much, even when she has days off, only for it to, or to waste all of their time. Hmm. Fine. And, well, and honestly, they do fix the plot, but at this point, nobody even cares by this point. Wait, honestly, I can literally fast forward through the rest of the episode because nothing really freaking happens. Even when she returns to the farm, farm and does all the tasks as the Twilight's been trying to do, she basically overcomplicates things because basically it's stuff that's already already been completed. Like this episode just makes Applejack just look like an idiot. <laughs> Well, you have just did it. Well, guess what, Applejack? You've already done this, this type of episode already where you work too hard, but you decide... I've seen this type of episode before. Been there, done that. You ain't doing it. Hmm. 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 Yeah, that about sums it up. I, 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 this episode just points out why Applejack just looks so stubborn and just dumb. Because then she realizes. Uh, I know animals are unpredictable, but I don't think that they're that stupid. But it doesn't squeak anymore. Of course not. I fixed that ages ago. You want to know something? Hey, look at that. 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 Look at Well, give them separate foods then. I, I just. Of course, being the chicken, I couldn't bear well open the gate. Give them separate pets. I just.
Do you see why I am not a fan of this episode? I think the writers did everything in their power to purposely make Applejack look like a blind idiot. It it really fascinates me. I I just Again, give them separate food pens. That's why you have them separated for a reason. <sighs> Do you understand now why this episode is just a pain to sit through? Ugh. I, I just... It's, it's truly amazing. It really is truly amazing how they just made Applejack this brain dead. I just... Uh, Applejack, it seems like everything you're doing is to fix things that aren't really problems anymore. Bobby! Oh, Maybe it isn't so hard to get stuck doing extra work after all. Hmm. I wonder if I've been doing that around here for minutes and else. I'm gonna say yes! Correct montage, it basically shows that Applejack overworked everything. I, I just, it basically shows that Applejack is just a workaholic. I, I don't know how else to say it, and that she basically is stubborn. I didn't realize there were any That's basically me right now. I, I literally just whatever. Well, maybe if you stop over... Now, look, I... This is the one time where I myself honestly don't understand the moral of this episode. Like, I, I honestly don't get it. I mean, there's a difference between getting an outside perspective and being a freaking idiot. Because, to me at least, Applejack was just too narrow-minded to even think about overcomplicating things. I mean, yeah, it's good that when you get into a routine, you usually do stuff of over and over again, but you have, but the human brain is a lot more intelligent than that, and it gets people to realize, well, hey, they're going to stop doing this certain thing, so I don't have to do this necessary stuff anymore. Or, uh, this, yeah, Applejack's Day Off sucks. This was just uninteresting to get through. I literally had to fast forward through most of the episodes because it's so dull, so repetitive. This episode just sets out to make Applejack seem like she's hit in the head with the idiot stick. I mean, I just, it's really hard to describe how I really feel about this episode because really there's, there's really nothing to it. It's just dull, boring, uninteresting, and it's literally a pain to sit through. I mean, yes, there is showing in how far the relationship between Rarity and Applejack has come since season one, but none of it really matters when the episode that we have to watch is going to give you exactly what you're expecting it to be. It is so, and it makes it out to be as boring as possible. It's like nobody cares here at this point. Uh, so, honestly... With all that said and done, it 
is really an infuriating episode to sit through for me. And, well, and it's not like they're so bad, it's good, where I can make fun of a bunch of things, but it is just so dull and boring and nothing really happens. Alright. All that said and done, Applejack's day off is a D. Like, actually take a day off, Applejack, and not just overworking yourself to overcomplicate things. Things even more than you already do. So, yeah. Applejack's day off is a D. Ugh. Well, this certainly didn't help me try to keep my attention span up forward. But, we got it out of the way. Applejack's day off, done. Put it in the logs of my channel of videos and reviews of the show, whatever. I never have to review it ever again. Next time we'll be looking at Flutter Brother. Chio, can I borrow you one more time? Uh. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.